Hey there, Dave from Report Fix, and today I want to talk to you about V brakes. So these are V brakes, probably called V brakes because the uh, the arms kind of form a bit of a V shape. Um, so they're they're pretty much the end of the line in terms of development of uh, rim brakes. Uh, by rim brakes, I'm talking about brakes that act on the rim of the tire of the wheel rather than you know disc brakes and drum brakes and coaster brakes that act in the, kind of towards the hub. So Rim brakes, you have like caliper brakes, like you'll find on road bikes, um, cantilevers, which are more on, on cyclocross uh, brakes. They're, they're kind of like they, they clamp this way with a, with a cable coming to, to the both arms. So this is kind of a development of that, but uh, the advantage of uh, V brakes is that they have a lot of power, a lot of adjustability, a uh, fairly simple mechanism, and a lot of tire clearance. So they became very popular with mountain bikes. Um, they became Main Street pretty much in 96 with Shimano, they introduced V-Brakes in uh, the XTR level. They kind of trickled down from there. Uh, today you're going to find them in a lot of bikes, a lot of kids bikes, uh, city bikes like this. Um, any bikes where you know you need a lot of braking power, uh, simple pr to produce, so they, they can be very economical and um, have a good uh, tire clearance. So while they, they appear very simple, I mean the, the action is pretty obvious to, to look at when you squeeze the brakes, you see how it, it clamps down. Um, but there's a, a fair bit of adjustability and a, and a fair number of ways that you can adjust them and, 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 and uh, kind of set them up. And it's, it's important to know those. Uh, so they look simple, but they can be kind of complicated uh, when, you, when you get into it. Um, so I just want to give you a couple tricks, uh, tips and tricks about that today. So. The first thing you need to know, if you have V-brakes on your bike and you really don't know anything about it, um, basically the first and only thing you should really know is how the quick release mechanism works on these. So if you need to remove your wheel, um, the, the rim is usually a lot smaller than the, than the tire. So the brake pads are very close together and if you need to take the wheel out, it's not going to go between the brake pads. So you need a way of opening this up. Now V-brakes have a very simple way of doing it, where you just loosen that apart, and then it opens like this. And then to put it back together, kind of squeeze them back together, insert that in there, and it's back. So it's a, it's a pretty simple process, but I've had a lot of people come to me, um, their brakes are open like this, and they're like, oh, my, my brakes don't work anymore, I need new brakes, there's something wrong, I'm like, oh, well, you know, I think you just need to, to put them together. And you, know, you just need to reattach the, the quick release mechanism here. Now, if you see it together, it, it, you know, it's obvious how it works, but if it's apart, um, it's not really obvious how it goes back together. Uh, it, you know, especially if this is hanging over there, you, it's not really obvious which part goes in which part. So the first thing to know if you have V-brakes is how to open these up and close them back in because um, you know like I say people will think their brakes are broken because they're, they're just unhooked. So uh, the one arm has the cable attached to it and with a little noodle on it and uh, usually there's this rubber boot. Um, I'll, I'll show you a close-up of it. Uh, so this rubber boot comes off of the noodle, off the end of the noodle. Your arm with the little lever on it here squeezes together and then there's a slot in the top of it and the noodle actually the cable goes through that slot the noodle inserts there you put the rubber boot back on and it's all together so just knowing how to take this apart and put it back together it's a very important step and it's an easy way to to you know work with your v-brakes on a daily basis if you're taking your wheel off so that that's one very important thing to know the second thing you should know is basic adjustment um, so if your brake is rubbing on the tire, one side or the other, basically you just need to balance the springs because you see when you're pulling the cable, it's just pulling, the cable's fixed on this side, this side is the stop for the noodle, and so when you pull like the cable through the noodle, it just squeezes these levers together. Now an important thing to make sure that it's operating correctly is that the springs that open these on each arm they're independent, you want the spring tension on both sides to be even. If it's not even, if one spring is stronger than the other, then the brake's going to sit further to one side or further to the other side and rub on your wheel. 
rub on your rim. So I'll show you another close, close up here. There's usually an adjustment screw. Often it's a Phillips, sometimes it's an Allen key, um, you know, depending on the level of brake, you'll have something a bit more um, precise and a bit more easier to adjust. Here on these brakes, it's they're just basic V brakes. There's a little Phillips screw here that you can turn in and out. And you see if I if I loosen it, the brake's gonna start to swing to that side because the other spring is more effective at this point. And then if I tighten this, it's gonna bring the brake back. Usually after making an adjustment, you wanna squeeze them back and forth a little bit just to have everything get settled in. Um, but you know you can adjust it so that it pulls more or less, and then as you're operating it, you can uh, turn it one way or the other, and that's how you make your adjustment. So there's one on each side. Um, if you make them both really tight, your lever is going to be your lever feel is going to be a little stiffer. If you loosen them both up, the lever is going to be easier to pull, but it may not open up fully. So you, you kind of have to balance it. Uh, but it's pretty simple. You just have the, the screws on one side and the other. You want to adjust those, and then you'll be able to center the brakes uh, so they're not rubbing on your on your rims. Um, another thing in terms of maintenance on V brakes, uh, each of these arms is pivoting on a post that's attached to the frame. Um, so you want them to, to pivot carefully and uh, easily and smoothly. So you want to make sure that this is lubed. Now you don't actually have to pull everything apart. If you take them off, uh, the springs can come loose uh, and you know the washers can come out and stuff. So uh, if you're not comfortable actually removing everything from the frame and re rebuilding it, you can just back off these uh, bolts that are holding it to the frame. Just back them off a little bit and put a bit of lube in there. Now anytime you have lube around the brakes you want to really make sure you don't get it onto the rim, onto the brake pads because that friction is important to slow you down. But just drip a little bit of lube under the head of the screw and then tighten it back up make sure everything spins smoothly. It's going to keep it from getting corroded and getting stiff and it'll help it to move smoothly and then you'll have a nice easy and smooth uh, pivot for your brakes. Um, another thing that I see going wrong with V-brakes is uh, the brake pad adjustment. Now the brake pads when they're bolted in here they can pretty much spin anywhere. Um, there's just a, a nut on the end of this uh, bolt that's on the back of the brake pad and there's little cups, kind of spherical cups and, and uh, washers on here and so when you loosen this off there's pretty much a full 360 degree uh, range of motion with the pads. So you want to adjust that and make sure that they are parallel and touching only the rim. I've seen uh, brake pads that are adjusted too high, they can rub on the tire and you know cause you a, a flat tire or a puncture through the tire if it rubs all the time. Uh, I've seen them there where the pad is too low and it's not contacting the full width of the rim and so you're compromising on your braking. It's not as strong because you're only kind of pressing on a small part here. So um, you want to adjust this so that they are even with the rim, contacting the full rim and um, parallel. So not uh, touching only on one side. You want the, the whole surface of the, the pad to touch. Um, if they're making noise, which these can cause a bit of squeal or a chatter when if they're not adjusted fully parallel, uh, a good tip is to tow them in a little bit. So the front of the pad, meaning um, when the wheel's spinning forward, uh, the front end of the brake pad touches first, so you can put a little bit of a tilt to that. Um, an easy way of doing that is put a, a thin piece of something at the back of the pad, like a you know a credit card or, or something you know about that thickness. Put it in between, hold it onto the rim while you loosen and tighten it so that it it's just a little bit towed in. That will usually help with a lot of the noise and a lot of the sh chattering. In uh, really uh, stubborn cases where it's hard to, to make them quiet. I find uh, putting a bit of brake, uh, I find uh, it's good. Sometimes when it's making a lot of noise and it's it's hard to get them set up properly, 
Uh, sometimes the, the brakes are, are just glazed or the surface of the, the pad is contaminated. And so I find if you can put a bit of coarse sandpaper in there, you squeeze the brakes lightly and you rub it like that, you can actually polish the surface of the pad and make it nice and parallel and fresh. And I find uh, that'll take care of the noise a lot of the time. So these are just a couple tips, uh, things to think about, things uh, to do when you have V-brakes on your bike, setting them up. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and um, maybe I'll dive deeper into uh, different kinds of brakes on future videos. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care.